me and money and today i'm going to show you how to reinstall a wig this is for beginners anybody who's had their wig installed and it's time for a reinstall maybe you don't have time to go maybe you're quarantined whatever i'm gonna show you how to reinstall a wig and i'm gonna break it down for beginners so if y'all want to see how i did this which was my second time installing it then let's get right into it first the ball cap method so the first thing that we're going to do is moisturize our hair i'm taking castor oil you can use whatever kind of oil you like my hair is really short so it's just like out but if you have cornrows you still want to do this and if you're new here don't be asking why i'm poor i cut my hair off like a year or two ago and every time it gets to this length i cut it off because this is such a awkward length like either you're gonna be short or not but i've been challenging myself to just let it grow so y'all see my curls in here and they're chilling what y'all doing now you want to take got to be glue and a wig cap that's close to your skin tone do not get one that's darker if anything get one that's lighter so the first thing that you want to do is put it all along your hairline if you have cornrows still do this now if you have cornrows you will just kind of just do it like that you know to avoid damaging your hair but if you don't i say brush it back just to get it really smooth so the front of our wig really lays flat and will melt in and don't be too rough on your hair if you got to do a little detangling do a little detangling don't be snatching through so when you're putting your glue on get these side areas really really good because those are a really important part take your wig cap put it from like like your forehead right here and pull it back just pull it back all right now take some scissors and cut a little area for your ears i take my earrings off when i do this because it snags You don't want the hole to be too big, so you want to cut only where you need to, and then you can have it on your forehead and stuff. But, like, figure out how you want it. Like, if you keep moving it, you're going to mess it up. So have it so where your face can be relaxed and fine for however long you have to have it on. So I like to normally just pull my eyebrows out. Taking the back of the comb, just kind of push the cap into where we already put the glue so we can see where our hairline starts. And now we're going to take some more glue and put it on top right where our hairline starts going a little bit before it because you don't want any of your hairline to be out so i just go down get my whole hairline first before i work it back more now we can work it back a little bit more about right here is good just so that it has a good grip because if it's just the front front it could easily just slip back and roll off and we don't want that to happen because this is the barrier between our natural hair and our wig and the lace of the wig can make your hair pretty itchy so now you have three options you can either sit under the dryer and that would take about 30 minutes let it air dry which would take about an hour and 30 minutes or you can blow dry it which would hurt your arm and take about 40 20 30 minutes so it's up to you. I normally let it air dry and while I'm doing this, I work on straightening the wig. So yeah, I always straighten the wig before I put it on my head. So if you're this far and your wig isn't straightened and up to par, you don't have to rush. You don't have to sit under the blow dryer. Work on that wig. And when I say work on it, I mean straighten it, hot comb it, prep it to be put on your head. So I'm gonna show you guys a quick way to make your wigs look way more realistic. This along with your wig being properly plucked, but taking your hair, brushing it back, and then following up with the hot comb and just really pressing it up and it'll go up and out away from your face and not just like straight down or over or whatever and making it look weird. So I do that plainly first just to give it the direction that I want it to go in. And then I take my Lusters slick stick, go over the same area. Ooh, 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 and I go over it again and then it's not gonna have as many flyaways and it's gonna be slick and it's gonna be ready for me to actually install it Alrighty. it keeps all the hair out the way it makes it so much easier even like hairs that are cut for baby hairs as you can see they're kind of standing up right there slick them back style them back because when you're ready to style the baby hair you just pull those right out and it's not doing it any harm pushing them back it makes it really really easy to install it if you've ever had your hair getting all in your glue this is what makes it not do that and I do that to both sides and as far as my cap it's pretty dry this part is dry this part is not really want to go based off of this but the side parts make sure they are dry they have to be super dry like without a doubt dry I got my grow back there right I did both sides and now we're just waiting on this to dry why are we waiting on this to dry let me tell y'all a little bit about glue whatever glue you use do it on a non dirty surface your skin cannot be oily your skin cannot have foundation on it you want to wipe it off with a primer the walker primer or alcohol you know you want your skin to 
just be dry so it can stick. I use Boho Active and if y'all don't know about this I will have a video at the end of my review on Boho Active and Boho Lace Tape because I've tried both. It's just, just really manageable glue and if you're a beginner it's really really like easy for you. You do not have to be a stylist to use this glue. It's super easy and I'll show y'all what I mean. Let's cut this off first. Cut the side parts off first in the middle and now you just want to cut this up. Out of the excess. Anything that's lifting and try it on just to see if you need to cut any of your weight cap off. When I lay this none of the weight cap on this side will be hanging out and lay it how you want it to be make sure your part is in the middle so that you don't put it on crooked and taking a skin colored concealer or eyeliner mark certain places so you will know where to put it you can outline the whole thing if you want to taking the end of a tooth flosser i know it's a little ghetto but girl it's gonna help so you see where it's laying just lift it up and kind of tap it right there as you can see so when we're putting the glue we know exactly where to put it we're not gonna have any lace like sticking up or anything like that and this is gonna make it perfect so you don't have to go back and figure out how much more glue to add what else you need to lay down some more like no perfect first time so once you have that done, when you lift it up, I can see exactly where I need to put my glue. And I'm gonna take a little bit of powder over the wig cap. You can put it along here, but just be very careful, be very light. If you have a lot of makeup where the glue is supposed to be, it'll make it hard to stick. So we're gonna take our primer to remove any excess oil before we start putting our glue. So taking your bolt hold or whatever type of glue you wanna use. I like the gliders because you can really like work with it better. You wanna massage it before you start or shake it up layer one of the glue I just kind of started on top of that line so we can lay it down and make it more seamless keep in mind that the first layer is going to be the hardest layer because you're going to have to lay down that line do not get discouraged, do not get annoyed. Just keep going, working diligently, and making sure that you're doing it thin. The layers need to be thin. Like, you see how that looks right there? That's a build-up, so you don't want that. But I wasn't done right there, obviously. But you see how like, thick that is? You don't want it that thick. But I normally do four to five layers. So let me show y'all what we're going for. Do you see how clear that is right there? That is when you know that you're ready for another one. If you still have areas that are kind of like white and you can kind of see build up, give it like three more minutes. And if it doesn't change, then just go for your next layer. Very, very clear. Okay. Very clear. All right. Last coat. So you want to make sure that it's completely clear. Don't be trying to put it on while it's white or that white is going to show up under your wig and you don't want that. Okay, so first, put it on like up here, right? Take your comb. Here is the middle, so I'm going to align the part a little bit more with the middle of my head. All right, so now two pieces here on the outer side of like the middle, as you can see how it goes down here. These pieces on the wig will come down a little further. So I grab those pieces and I shimmy my wig down. You don't want to pull it because you can like accidentally make it fold and you're going to mess up your lace and the install. So just kind of shimmy it down, you know, do less shimmying. All right, wait, I put it back too far. All right, so now you want to put it where you mapped out to put it. And you want to be really light with how you place it at first because there might be a few like movements you might have to do to it. Right. 
So once you have it where it's supposed to be, take your comb, take the end, and you can just kind of press it to kind of push the lace into the glue. And once you're sure that it's all down, then you can take the actual comb part and brush it and kind of push it in that way as well. Wow. And this is my first time using like the back of floss and doing like the line. I normally just take like an eyeliner pencil and kind of do it. But that gave me so much more precision. Look at that. And I just put it on. Wow. That's that bow hole active for you. And I didn't put any lace tint on it this time because there was lace tint on it last time, which could be the case. You had lace tint on yours. Tie the hair up. Hope you can tie the edges down. I normally just do these two now when I do my edges. Just boom, boom, just because it kind of frames my face better. All right, so that is the finished product. As y'all can see, the lace is giving what? The baby hair is giving pretty. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? The install is giving quick, fast, and easy. Hopefully, I made that seem as simple as it really is because it's really not hard to reinstall a wig at all. At all, at all, at all. It's not hard. That is how you reinstall a wig after it was already installed the first time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, anything that maybe I didn't explain clearly, definitely comment down below and I will get back to you. And I will get back to you very fast, actually. Like, the notifications come right to my phone. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below and subscribe for more videos. And I will see you all next time. Bye. Thanks for watching.